Many harsh words are traded on Twitter each day. Dick Costello, the former CEO of the company, added some of his own tonight. Costello was responding to a debate that has consumed Tech's elite on Twitter over the past few days, an argument about whether the industry should actively promote social justice causes and encourage political conversations at work. Costello's comments had the effect of dumping a jerry can's worth of fuel on the fire. Me first capitalists who think you can separate society from business are going to be the first people lined up against the wall and shot in the revolution, he tweeted. I'll happily provide video commentary. Costello's extraordinary language, suggesting he'd like to see some of his peers face a firing squad, was jarring and reinforced the profoundly unusual and troubling circumstances that have enveloped corporate America this year. Businesses have faced a deadly pandemic, a global recession and the most profound reckoning over civil rights in several generations, sparked by George Floyd's death while in police custody last May. By turn, corporations and the CEOs running those firms have been left wondering what role, if any, they should take in the movement, in action on their part sometimes leading to the unhappiness of their employees. While the fiery controversy had largely been reduced to embers in recent weeks, it was sparked anew on Twitter by Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong's sternly worded blog post from Sunday, a lengthy treatise that attempted to draw a firm line in the sand, Coinbase would take no part in any social justice movement. Generally, Armstrong seemed to say, he expected his employees to keep their heads down and focus on their job of building out the cryptocurrency exchange. We've seen what internal strife at companies like Google Google and Facebook can do to productivity, Armstrong wrote, drawing attention to two tech giants that have been criticized by staff for not doing enough to tamp down hate speech and foster political change. We don't engage here when issues are unrelated to our core mission, Armstrong continued, because we believe impact only comes with focus. In finishing, Armstrong made it clear that anyone who didn't agree with his profits before politics mentality should leave. On Wednesday, he reinforced that, encouraging any employee made unhappy by his policy to take advantage of a newly created separation package, a generous buyout, he promised. Immediately, Armstrong's comments drew in supporters, and plenty of aghast critics. Among the most notable of those who rushed to Armstrong's side was the venture capitalist Paul Graham. Yet again, at Brian underscore Armstrong leads the way, Graham tweeted. I predict most successful companies will follow Coinbase's lead. If only because those who don't are less likely to succeed. The irony of the situation was, seemingly, lost on Armstrong and his backers.